Uh, I hate these things so much. Then why were you in such a hurry to get here? Because I hate being late slightly more than I hate awkward social obligations. I mean, if one more person says something dumb like, Look, it's red on the red carpet! I'm going to strangle them. Um, red? Well, there goes my opening line. <laughs> she gets a little cranky when she's nervous. Anyway, I've been covering the WWE Hall of Fame for almost 15 years, and I've never seen anything like this. We've had individuals, tag teams, factions, families, but never a pair of best friends inducted together. This is truly a special night. It really is, Byron. But just because our in-ring careers are over doesn't mean we can't continue to give back to the business that gave so much to us. In fact, that's why I'd like to officially announce I'm available for commentary and hosting work. So, WWE, if you're looking to freshen things up around here, then you know where to find me. Are you trying to take my job? What? I'd never do that. Don't be so insecure, Byron. Okay, well, that concludes one of the most interesting red carpet interviews of all time. Live TV, everyone. What was that? You're welcome for taking the heat off of you. And maybe I was auditioning for a gig. You don't want to stay involved in some way? No. When I said I was done, I meant it. Red. Trey. Velveteen. Congratulations. But just keep in mind, it's one thing to achieve your dreams, but you will never be the dream. Great to see you too. See? That's why I hate these things. You run into all sorts of people you have history with. That was super awkward. Yeah? Well, at least it didn't end with someone getting knocked out like back in the day. Hey, where are you going? The show hasn't even started yet. I don't have anything to do, so I'm leaving. Seriously? You should stay. Y you never know what could happen, plus it at least gives the impression that you care. I do care. In fact, I care too much, which is why I can't take just sitting around doing nothing while everyone else gets opportunities. We're still relatively new here. I think you just need to give it more time. We've been in NXT for months and I've barely been on TV. And other than you, no one even knows who I am. It's like high school all over again, right down to having to ask permission to use the bathroom. Who makes you do that? Cassius Ono. Wait, is he just messing with me? See? Exactly like high school. Look, bathroom pranks aside, I think you're overreacting. Really? Watch this. Hey, Ricochet, good luck with your match tonight. Oh, thanks, Troy. He almost got your name right. That's a start. If that doesn't prove my point, I've also asked just about everyone on the roster to be my partner for the Dusty Classic, and they all said no. Or worse, ignored me. Okay, fine. Maybe there's some truth to what you're saying, but I still believe it'll get better. Do you think anyone would catch on if you disguised yourself as a man so you could be my partner? <laughs> as much as I'd love to try to pull that off, I'm focused on beating Rhea Ripley to get a shot at the NXT Women's Championship. It's gonna be tough since she still hasn't gotten over the fact that I beat her in the Mae Young Classic. But at least you have the Mae Young Classic win. It proved you belong here. My problem is everyone thinks I'm just riding your coattails. Well, you know what? From now on, I'm gonna ride my own coattail. How do you plan on doing that? I need to do something big to get people's attention. Something that'll change the narrative. And I need to do it tonight. I like the fact that you're not just giving up and going home, but keep in mind, I put my reputation on the line by getting you hired here. So anything you do ultimately reflects back on me. I understand, but you have nothing to worry about. Hey, do you know where I could get some handcuffs on short notice? And now I'm worried. <laughs> 